In this tutorial, you will learn how to create the Marvel effect. If you've ever seen any of these Marvel films like X-Men, they have this great animated logo introduction. The first step into creating that effect is we need an assortment of photographs. I got a bunch of royalty free photographs from freedigitalphotos.net. The link should be with the information. After we create all these all these images we want to make sure that each image changes for the sake of this tutorial I've used the same images over and over again but to get this true effect you really want to use different photographs also take heed in the sizing of your photograph all these photographs have been matched to the stage height and width if the photograph is not the stage and width is going to cause this really ugly looking problem that you don't want. So what you have to do is select the image that you want to put up to stage width and height. Instead of manually doing it, you can use your align tool by selecting match width and match height. Make sure two stages selected. After you're done matching the stage width and height, you want to horizontally center it and vertically center it. This saves us a lot of trouble of the picture shaking around that you don't want to shake around and you're getting cut off points of the stage color you don't want that so let's lock that layer we won't be touching it anymore let's create a new layer and I would say about into the layer 15 percent into it I have 36 frames in this animation about 15 percent roughly uh, I'm gonna press F6 to create a uh, new frame or you can right click it and convert to keyframe but I'm gonna be using F6 from now on in this layer we wanna to go to the rectangle tool and we want to create a rectangle right over everything and we wanna use our align tool to match the width and the height and vertically and horizontally align it I'm gonna be using a white color as the fill. We do not need a stroke. If you want to turn off your stroke, you can easily do that. And the same goes for the fill. If you want to turn off the fill, which you're not going to do, you just click on the color and go to the no color. And you'll see a red line through it. With us creating this rectangle, we, we're going to press F8 to convert this into a symbol and that symbol we want to create it into is a graphic. We're going to call it BG or, or background. BG01. With this as a background we can work with it. We want this to fade in all the way to white. This color will be what is going to be inside of the logo. So we're going to go towards the end and press F6 and the first frame we want to turn we're going to click on it and go to the color and the properties and we're going to turn the alpha to zero we're going to click on the frame again so it shows tween and we want to use motion tween so it steadily moves to white we want to insert another layer and in this layer we want to go 25 percent in to the animation, press F6, go to the library, and bring in the background into that layer. I'm going to be locking the bottom layer so I don't, we don't want to put in anything we don't need. I'm centering it, and I'm going to press F6 on the last frame. In the first frame, I don't want any, I don't want to see anything, so I'm turning this alpha to zero and this will be and this color here will be the surrounding color of our logo which I'm going to color a burgundy so I'm gonna to go to tint by selecting selecting it and then going to color and going to tint you can choose any color you want I'm choosing a white inner logo and a red burgundy surrounding so since I created that layer I wanna click on the frame inside of the layer and go to motion tween. I want to give it a motion tween. So as it progresses, the red becomes more apparent. 
and we see that going on. We want to insert another layer at the top. We want to lock the bottom layer. With that layer, with the top layer selected, we want to go to the rectangle tool, create a rectangle, and we want to match the size and the width of the stage. This is essential. We're going. I'm going to color it a color that I can see. You're going to need to color it uh, a weird looking color. It doesn't matter the color because we're using this as a mask. We're going to go to the text tool. Your logo can be anything as long as it's a vector. The text tool. On. Enter flash. And your text or vector must be a different color than the background that we just created. And we want to center it horizontally and vertically. We want to use control or command B to break apart the text. We want to hold shift and select all the new text that we just created. Select every bit and piece and delete it. So now you should see in the background, you should see the picture that exists behind this logo. I'm, press, I'm going to lasso everything now. Press F8 to convert it to a graphic. I'm going to call it logo 01. And we want to go to the last frame, press F6, go back to the first frame, press Q to bring up the free transform tool and scale it all the way out. We want it huge. You want to hold shift and go to one of the corners and scale it out. We want it huge. We want to select a frame and go to the tween and change it to motion tween. As you can see, and it fades into that red. Now this is all good and well, but we still have this green color. So what we have to do is click on the top layer and change it into a mask. Automatically the layer below it should be engulfed by this mask or it should be set together so now when we see it it should work perfectly that's pretty good this white needs to hold off I think to the very end so I'm gonna click on that frame and change the ease to in and I'm gonna ease it in negative uh, 60 we want to see some of those pictures towards the end and let me put a stop I'm gonna go to window actions stop let's test the movie out and it has that marvel effect you may not be able to see it because of the frame rates but trust me this is a really cool look this is Worf if you like these tutorials don't forget to subscribe to my channel show your support by rating and commenting on my videos also go to my website on enterflash.blogspot.com thanks for watching on enterflash